Knights of the Round Japanese, is an arcade game released by Capcom in 1991. A side-scrolling beat-em-up based loosely on The Legend of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, the game features an action role-playing video game-like level advancement system, with fighters automatically being upgraded to new weapons and armor as they advance through the game. In September 13, 2018, Capcom announced Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle with Knights of the Round being one of seven titles and being released digitally for PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows on September 18, 2018. Topic <laughs> Plot. Arthur, who had been training himself to be a great knight, pulled out the sacred sword Excalibur from the rock. After pulling it out, Arthur realized his destiny was to become the first king of the Britons. Merlin then sends Arthur and his two closest companions, Lancelot and Percival, to overthrow the evil King Garibaldi and to unite England. Gameplay The gameplay is very similar to other Capcom beat-em-ups, such as Final Fight and Capcom's previous hack and slash fantasy title The King of Dragons. There are seven stages, each with its own boss and a variety of generic enemies that try to stop the player's progress. The fights rely strongly on blocking ability, which is triggered by pressing the attack button, then pressing the joystick away as the opponent strikes. If successful, the player gains a few seconds of invincibility with which to counterattack. However, if no one strikes the player's character while holding the block, they will tire and drop their guard, making them vulnerable to attack. Blocking is vital in certain cases, since some bosses will be vulnerable only after their attack has been blocked by the player. As in most beat-em-ups, a desperation attack is performed by pressing both the attack and jump buttons simultaneously. This knocks out most enemies on the screen, but the player loses a little bit of health every time he uses it. At various points in the game, the players get to ride a horse, where they can attack enemies on horseback. The horses can stomp on enemies by pressing the joystick two times forward. On occasion, bosses and certain enemy characters can ride horses as well. Topic: <laughs> Heroes. Arthur, the main protagonist, is a well-balanced character in speed and power. His weapon is the sword Excalibur. He can perform a special attack, a powerful slashing blow, by pressing attack then holding the joystick toward the enemy's direction. Initially, Arthur wears chain mail and leather armor. Upon gaining levels, Excalibur becomes stronger, and he eventually gets more body armor later in silver and gold colors. Arthur is also the most devastating character, when mounted on horseback. Lancelot is a talented swordsman and has been traveling all over the world to find a worthy king he should serve. Lancelot is the fastest character but lacks in strength. Since the game favors maneuverability, he is very good for beginners. His special attack is the jumping kick, done by pressing attack then holding the joystick up. Lancelot's weapon of choice is a saber. Lancelot starts out wearing a blue tabard with a yellow cross. In eventual level ups, Lancelot gains plate armor and a broader saber. Percival, a son of a blacksmith, is a strong warrior with a gentle heart. Unlike his sword wielding friends Arthur and Lancelot, Percival prefers to use a battle axe. He has never been defeated thanks to his well built body. Percival is the strongest character but lacks in agility, making him good for intermediate to advanced players. He is the only character who can dash by tapping the joystick forward twice, cancelled into a giant swing", by pressing the attack button while dashing. At first, Percival has blonde hair and light armor with green pants. In eventual level ups, Percival becomes bald with a beard, and gains heavier armor, though most of his chest is bare. Reception Sinclair user scored the arcade version a 78 one-hundredths, writing that players who enjoyed Golden Axe would enjoy Knights of the Round. Anthony Bayes, writing for Allgame, called it a "...solid quarter muncher with some cool mythological characters." Reviewing the SNES version, GamePro praised the quality of the sprites but remarked that "...slow, repetitive gameplay dulls the edge of this otherwise average game." 
citing the gameplay's overwhelming focus on crude hack and slash combat. Topic: <laughs> Ports. The game was ported to the Super NES in 1994, in Capcom Classics Collection, reloaded for the PSP in 2006, as well as Capcom Classics Collection Vol. 2 for PlayStation 2 and Xbox and in 2018, in Capcom Beat'em Up Bundle for the PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. See also Magic Sword video game